Well, it has been about a week and a half since I've set up this system. And this is a hydroponic system. There's Benji in the back. We can see your tail, Benji. But this is a very, very easy system. These are Roma tomatoes and they have grown crazy fast in the last week. They pretty much just doubled in size. So if you haven't seen hydroponics and aquaponics before, I'll go through the basics of both of them in this video. Hydroponics just means using water without fish and aquaponics means using fish to produce chemical ways to grow your plants. So the way that this system works, if you haven't seen my last video, is I have a solar pump down here. That is connected to a solar panel. It turns on when there's sun and currently there is no sun because we're early morning and it will just pump water through this little black pipe here. Got simple little irrigation tea pipes, tea pieces or whatever they are, squirting water into each of these. And these are called Beto buckets, which is a bucket with a little hole in the middle and a little area there. So the water goes down, fills up to here, overflows into the PVC pipe which is down in there where Benji is at the moment. And then that just goes straight back into the tub. Very easy system. So when the light is on, well, when the sun is sunning, <laughs> shining, I know, you have water go through the whole system and it just drips through and that feeds the plants. So instead of just normal tap water in there, that is reverse osmosis water with no mineral content to it. Then we adjust the pH, which is the acid alkaline, which is pretty simple to do. There is an acid regulator you can buy from aquarium places and stuff like that. But that added to reverse osmosis water will target your pH. And you want a certain pH for different types of plants. And also, if we come around here, that's the two things that we use. So calcium nitrite, which is just calcium nitrite. And this stuff here, which is a fertilizer, which is just diamond special tea. And it's roughly one gram per litre of each of those dissolved in water and then back in there. And then we replace that water maybe every month or so because as the plants take up nutrients and water, well, it's more water than nutrients, it's both, but they take up water faster than nutrients, you get a concentration in there. So you can test it with TDS pens and all sorts of wonderful stuff and conductivity meters. I do have one, don't know where it is, so we're just doing the one gram per litre thing at the moment and not really worrying too much about it. Obviously checking up pH and stuff as well. But that is where we are with hydroponics. It is working pretty well so far. Only problem we've got is bugs, so we have to watch out for grasshoppers, for butterflies laying their eggs on stuff, and as I said in my last video, probably going to put some mesh or something around this to stop all that happening because we live in the subtropics and there are a lot of bugs. Spider mites, which are a tiny little bug which live on the leaves, haven't seen any yet. And they will make the plant look like it's starting to go brown. It'll look like it's either got too much water, not enough water, you wonder why it's dying. And there's microscopic little bugs eating the leaves and they can wipe out your plants within days. It's crazy. But that is hydroponics. Aquaponics now. Wow, I did not expect this to work, but check this out. It is actually working. I have not done anything differently. I think maybe the temperature, we've been about 24, 25 water temperature for a little bit, is helping because it was a little bit too warm. Everything was elongated to start with. I thought it was lack of nutrients, but I'm pretty sure it was because my light was too far up. So. This is a high powered LED. It's just a Dimax Rex LED if you want to know the brand. But that is a six foot light above these. They get about 12, 14 hours of light a day. But the leaves are actually starting to hit the light already. I'm just going to leave it that high. Yeah, it hasn't burnt the leaves or anything like that because it's not overly warm. But it is a high intensity plant growth LED. Well, for fish tanks, technically, but it is working for these. I know. And this system, if you haven't seen it, is connected to this big swimming pool. Those are freshwater stingrays from South America. Full freshwater. My little babies, well, they're not that little, they are getting quite big. This is a swimming pool, so this is 10 foot by 5 foot, just one of those cheap pools with liner so that stingrays don't barb through it. Connected to another fish tank with some big fish. 
and these are all South American peacock bass. There's giant gouramis. There are turtles. There is a Saratoga, which is like an arowana if you don't live in Australia and don't know what a Saratoga is. Yeah, more stingrays, big catfish, all sorts of stuff like that. But that is connected to this. And then this is connected to a big biofilter with UV, which is UVC, which just sterilizes the water. And then I have a big biofilter over there. And these four tubs here are all connected as well. And I think these are about a thousand liters each to give you a rough idea. So they are pretty big tubs. What is powering this is a tiny little, I think three watt, two and a half watt pump. That's my little pump down there. With some more fish in here. And that is just pumping the water up into here. It is going all the way along here, which is about a six foot PVC pipe with holes drilled in it. This is a really, really cheap eBay system. So you can buy these for like 50 bucks sort of thing and you can modify them to whatever you want. So it's just a cheap eBay system, spray painted black a while ago to stop the sun or the UV from breaking it down because it just comes like a white plastic PVC. Super cheap Chinese made PVC, very, very easy. But the water is pumping through that along here and then it just trickles back in there. That is it. So I'm not gonna lift any of these up because the roots are pretty long in the bottom, long in the bottom. There's some roots there. Obviously that little seedling did not survive, but we're just leaving it in there anyway. So not all seedlings will survive, but all my spinach is going really well now. Check that out. That did go to seed. That, that is because we live in the tropics. But yeah, even our lettuce is looking lettucey. I know. And if you've seen any of my other videos, lettuce grows really well and then dies off in the heat. But this lot has managed to survive. I know, you may think that looks a little bit pathetic, but this is pretty good for not doing anything except turning light on and off. And if I had a timer, I wouldn't even need to do that. Yeah, a very simple sort of setup. So if you've got a swimming pool <laughs> with stingrays, if you've got a pond, got a fish tank, rig up a little grow bed and a little light, and you can grow your own food. I know. This system over here, aha. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know these are zucchinis. No, they're not. See, I do this every video. These are cucumbers. They look like zucchinis, but they're not. These are cucumbers. Now, I had to remove all of the old plants apart from this one up here. And this one has just started to get flowers. Check that out. So that is going to be a cucumber. And there's another flower up there. As long as something pollinates them, I'm not gonna bother pollinating them, but we are pretty much in the open. So bugs are gonna come in here and pollinate because the reason why all these are new plants, apart from those two, is because a bug came in here, laid its eggs and caterpillars wiped out most of them overnight. Now, I had a few problems with not enough nutrients with these plants because it's just feeding off the fish waste. And there is another fish down here. Just saw him there. That is a huge Murray cod. It's one of the biggest Australian native fish you can get. They get like about five foot or so monsters. That's not five foot, that's probably about two and a half foot or so. But this tub is about a thousand liters. It's a big five foot diameter tub to give you a rough idea. Where is he? There he is, there he is. But getting back to this, wasn't enough nutrients, even with all these fish all connected in that. So I've actually put some aqua earth, which is an active substrate. And if we lift this one up gently in the bottom. So as the roots go through, like these ones just have, they'll actually feed off the nutrients sitting in the bottom of the PVC. And this is exactly the same idea as that one. There is a little pump down the bottom, pumping the water up here. It is going through the PVC pipe around there, and then it is just trickling back through the overflow. Easy as that. And I've just got these little mesh cups sitting in the holes and the roots will just go through. So eventually the roots are gonna clog this whole system up, but if it overflows, it's just gonna overflow back into the tub. So it's not a huge issue really. And I can reduce the water so that it's just a very slow trickle going through which is gonna do exactly the same thing. But these pumps are on 24 hours a day. 
Yeah, and I think I've only planted these in the last week and they have tripled in size. So they are going really, really well. Exactly the same light as the other system, which is a Rex LED six foot light. And they're designed to grow plants in aquariums. So it's a decent spectrum. But that is where we are. So all these little tiny seedlings are just about to start to get their little grabby hands and they'll hold on to the chains like that one is. And then I will raise the light up a little bit once they sort of do their thing. But yeah, it seemed to be going really, really well. Like the last batch of these didn't have thick stems and these ones have got a decent thick stem to them. So this whole system with the stingrays and the tanks have been here for years. I've moved these tubs in the last you know, six months, eight months or so, but all the water is plumbed in together. But it's finally working. So I'm not entirely sure why it's finally working. It just seems like maybe I'm a little bit too impatient. <laughs> but anyway, there will be another update to show you how it's all going in a couple of weeks or so, especially on the hydroponics, which seems to be going really, really well and super fast. But if you did enjoy this video, click the thumbs up so I know, and I will make more. Anyway, if you want to see other stuff, there's other stuff on the screen now, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks heaps for watching.